Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will teach you how to test voltage with an electrical tester. All we need is an electrical tester and something to test. To start with, determine if it's AC voltage or DC voltage we will be testing. AC voltage is used for almost everything in a household. DC voltage is battery or voltage output by most transformers. If we are testing DC voltage, Set the tester to volts DC, which is indicated here on this tester and here on another. Note the solid line with the dashed line under it. This will always indicate DC voltage. When testing DC voltage, it is important that the red test lead be connected to the positive terminal. On most transformers, the tip is positive, so the red test lead will be inserted into the tip and the black test lead will contact the outer metal surface as shown here. On this transformer, we can see output voltage is 19 volts. When testing AC voltage, it does not matter which test lead is connected to the positive. So to test for voltage, we set our meter to AC voltage, shown here. The symbol for AC voltage is this. All we do to test the voltage is insert the test leads into the ends of the cords as shown here. Be careful not to touch the ends of the test leads. Note that the display reading is 123. So our voltage is 123 volts. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned while I introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. This tool will save you lots of money by saving you lots of time. Thanks for watching. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas. It has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.